I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to talk all about the new Jujubee Perfect Backpack that is exclusive for Target.com. This bag has a ton going for it, you guys. In fact, it's very similar to the Jujubee Midi Backpack, but it does have some different features. So I'm looking forward to going over the differences between the two bags with you guys and also showing you guys how I have this packed up. This bag is 14 and a half inches tall, 11 and a half inches wide, and six inches deep. So it's a good size little backpack. It's very comparable to the size of the midi backpack. And if you guys wanna see a full review of the midi, I will link it right here for you. So this bag features smart pockets. It has 10 pockets total. It has a mommy pocket with a key fob, expandable bottle pockets on the sides. It has an electronics and change pad pocket on the inside and a zippered security pocket. This beautiful blush colored bag is made out of a supple vegan leather. It is really soft, you guys, and it feels very realistic. It's smushy <laughs> and I love smushy feeling bags. They just feel so nice. This bag also features some metal hardware, so you don't have to worry about plastic hardware or anything like that. Everything is metal and it's a beautiful shiny gold, but I wanna say it's not like a shouty gold, it's more of a muted gold, which I really like. So if you wanna pair it with some of the GGB Chromatics colors like I do in this video, it actually looks really good with the rose gold as well. So let's go ahead and get started. You have a name tag on the front here that says GGB with a little star. And this is the vegan leather type of patch. It's not like your usual jujube metal plates. You also have these super cute little tassels on these zipper pulls. They kind of have like a little split look to them and they're really, really cute. I did mention you have a mommy pocket on the front here. You also have two elastic bottle pockets on the sides. They are not insulated. This whole bag has kind of like a satin type of lining to it. And that satin lining is also on the inside of the pockets here. So it actually makes it really easy when you wanna pull something out, it just slips right out when you need it. But because of the elastic, it also keeps it very secured. So you don't have to worry about your things falling out or moving around. You have D-rings on each side of the bag, one up here and one on the other side. This is for when you wanna hang your bag from your stroller or a shopping cart because there are some really nice stroller clips included with this bag and I will show you guys those when I get two of them. They're inside the bag right now. On the back of the bag here, you have two seatbelt type of straps that are anchored at the bottom here. So you can easily adjust this. It's really easy to adjust. And as you guys saw in the very beginning of this video, in the on the body portion, this bag fits very nicely on the body. It is a mid-sized bag. It's comfortable to wear. It's really cute. You also have a grab handle up top here. So if you wanna pull this in and out of your car, it just comes easily. I kind of have mine packed a little heavier today. <laughs> so it's got some weight to it. So that is a basic look at the outside of the bag. So let's go ahead and start comparing it just a little bit here. I'm gonna push it to the right, or it might be to your left. <laughs> so here is the midi backpack. As you guys can see, they are very similar in size and shape. The entire bag, I feel like this one is based off of the midi backpack, but this one actually has a little bit more going on in it. This one, I feel like you could just take it to school. There's no stroller clips included and there's no change pad included. This one has both of those. The price points are very similar. This one is $70 and the perfect backpack is $65.99. So they're very, very close. I think the main difference is that I actually feel the materials on this one are just a little bit better when it comes to the hardware. I prefer the hardware on the midi backpack. I feel like the zippers are a little bit smoother. This one, it catches just a little bit when you go to close it, but when you go to open it, it's fine. And it's really not a big deal, honestly. I just happen to prefer the hardware on the midi backpack instead. But this one does not have any stroller clips like I mentioned, so there's no D-ring on the side. This is not insulated on the side either, so those are very similar in that way. In the very front pocket here, there's nothing going on. It's just an open pocket. This one actually has pockets and a key fob inside of it. 
So, I mean, for very similar price points, depending on what you need your bag for, these are very similar. Similarly priced, similar size, similar style. Even the backs of them are very similar. As you can see, they both have the same backpack straps and the same handles. So if you love the mini backpack, you're gonna absolutely love the perfect backpack because this one, I feel like it's it's got more to it for a cheaper price point. So I think if I were to choose between the two, I'd probably choose this one just because it has more to offer for a cheaper price. So if you wanna check that out though, you're gonna have to go to the Target website. But anyways, those are basically, um, they, on the inside they have the same things going on as well. They have the same type of pockets, but the quality on this one's just a little bit better when it comes to the pockets. However, this one includes a change pad and this one does not. So it's really up to you guys. <laughs> But I did want to just mention my thoughts between the two before we move on. All right, so let's see how I have this perfect backpack packed up. On the side here, I have my phone. I always like to keep my phone on the left side of the bag so that if I need it while I'm in the car or something and I need to get directions real fast, um, I just have easy access to it. I also have this here. This is called a love handle, you guys. I absolutely am obsessed with this thing. It can like be a kickstand, like, I just, I love this love handle thing. Guys, definitely check it out. I have a coupon code for it down in the description below for you if you want to get 10% off of one of these, but I, I adore it. It's, it's so much better than my pop socket. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that real quick. So I have my phone over there. That was an 11 Max Pro. That's all I had in that pocket over here. On this side here, I have a bottle of water. This is a nine ounce swell bottle for my son. It's got some water in it. And I just wanted to mention these pockets are really, really great for something this size. I have not tried something bigger, but I feel like the 16 or 17 ounce swell bottle would probably also fit well in there, as well as baby bottles. Those are perfect for baby bottle pockets. Let's go into the mommy pocket. So now you guys can see that material up a little bit closer. It has a leather look to it, but as I mentioned, it is a vegan leather, but it's still very soft and supple. I really like it. Let's go ahead and open up our pocket. Nice and smooth opening. So here's what we have going on down in the front. As I mentioned, there are pockets in this one as you can see, but there are not any in the midi backpack, so keep that in mind. So over here in this pocket, I have my Kawaii Carnival small set piece here. And in here, I just have some things for myself. I like to keep this where I can reach it easily. I have a hair clip, I have some chapstick, lotion, a mirror, and a folding hairbrush down in there. Also on this side, you have your key fob. So I have my keys on that. I love key fobs, I think they are great. I love not having to worry about where my keys are or trying to find them. They're just where they're supposed to be. On the other side here, there is a smaller pocket. These are two different sizes. This is more like a tech pocket. This is more like a perfect size pocket for a small set piece. In this pocket, I have my Be Charged wallet. I love slim wallets and this one's great. Also in the front here, as you guys can see, I have one more small set piece. And here I just have our masks. So this is also packed for me and my son, just in case I forgot to mention that. So I have his mask here and I have my mask in here as well for easy access. Let's close that up. So this is what the top of the perfect backpack looks like. I really love these twin double zipper pulls that are almost like tassels. I think they are super cute. So it opens up very simply and easily. The zippers go about halfway down the bag and I'm gonna flip these back just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. There is that lining I told you about. It's like a very soft satin and it is a silver color, almost on the verge of being a whitish silver. So there you go. It actually has quite a bit of space. And I kind of like to pack horizontally in this bag just to make the most out of the space. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start with this back pocket here. I actually don't have anything in here, but I did want to show you that you have your usual jujube zipper pull on this one. It's really pretty. I love these zipper pulls. They just have a good feel to them. So in here, I don't have anything, as I mentioned, but I did want to show you guys the size of this pocket. You could easily fit a small set piece down in here if you wanted to and lots of other things. I just didn't decide to use that pocket. I don't need to fill up every single pocket. <laughs> 
So on the very top here, I have my son's jacket. We've had hot weather and cold weather all in the same week, and I never know what to expect, so I wanna be prepared, and we've been kind of carrying around a jacket for my son just in case it's cold where we're going. So I have a jacket on top there. And now that I've taken that out, let's zoom in a little bit more. So this is how I have the rest of the bag packed up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things on the bottom and then I'll move to the back pockets. So this is a Jujube medium set piece in the blush color in the Chromatics collection. It looks great with the blush color from the Perfect Backpack. So let's go ahead and open it. In here I just have some snacks for my son and myself. I have some nuts for me, a fruit pouch for him, a granola bar, and a little pack of yogurt raisins. Now you guys can see just a little bit better what's going on down there. Let's go ahead and pull out the Be Quick. This has my son's change of clothes in it, and I have it in the Kawaii Carnival print. I just love this print, and I feel like it just goes with so many of the colors and prints that GGB has come out with recently, so I will use it quite often. <laughs> in here I have a change of clothes, as I mentioned. I have a t-shirt some pants. Those are like sweatpants, so you know this bag can actually hold a bit. I also have some underwear for him and a pair of socks. You never know when you're going to need an extra pair of clothes, and I highly recommend that you carry some with you for your kid until they are at least five. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so that was in my Be Quick. Now you guys can see real well down in there how the back is situated. The front here actually has nothing on it, but I kind of like it because it allows you to build up from the bottom without getting it caught on any pockets. So I really like that. In the very back pocket here, I have a wet bag. This is a Baby Olay wet bag. I highly suggest you pack one of these if you have a baby or a toddler because you never know when something's gonna get wet or messy. I also have a wipe pouch 30 down in there full of wipes. This bag did come with a memory foam change pad and it is black, it looks like this. It's fully black, even the lining on it is black. Um, but I really like that they include a memory foam change pad. That really takes this bag up a notch. Now let's bring it back over here. So you could definitely fit your memory foam change pad back here, it definitely fits that. And it may even fit a very small laptop and definitely an iPad back there. And these two elastic pockets here, I also have these. These are their stroller clips that they include. They're really nice. I really, really like them. So what you would do with this is they snap. You can snap them right onto a stroller or a shopping cart. It's too easy and they're really pretty. In this pocket over here, I have a Jujube small set piece in water. Love this color so much. <laughs> in here I just have a little med kit just in case somebody gets a boo-boo while we're out. And on this side here, I have my sunglasses. So that's all that I had in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. I'd love to know what you think of the perfect backpack. Do you think it's the perfect backpack? Do you like it better than the midi or do you like the midi more? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget you can purchase this bag on jujube.com or on target.com and I will leave links for both places down in the description below for you guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.